Hi, I'm David from Triangle and in this video we're going to show you how easily it is to build a dashboard using Cognos Analytics and on the dashboard we can use a map visualization. So once we're in Cognos Analytics, click on new, select dashboard. It gives you a selection of templates. For this demo we can use a single page and a basic outline. Next we have to connect to a data source. And we've got different options available. We could either bring data in from a data module or an existing data set. Well, in this case, because we're on a package, we're going to click on open and create a new data set. So, just like building a report, down the left hand side, we have the package and all the tables contained within. And now we're going to start bringing in some information. And as you can see, as you pull the data items across, you get the actual data appearing on the screen as well. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to do a map visualization, so we must bring in some map details. And a couple more fields to do some filtering on later. News agenda. And in this data set, we've got multiple clients, so we're going to bring in client ID to filter on that. So we've got our key columns. Next, I'm going to show you how you can pre filter the data in a data set, which you can't easily do in a data module. So we're going to pick on continent here and we're just going to bring in Europe and in the sub-region we're going to bring in just Western Europe and on the client we're going to bring in just Sony. So we've collected our fields pre-filtered and we can save that and there's a little tip I tend to prefix them with a DS for dataset or DB for dashboard. Western Europe Sunny, and we'll put that in the same folder. Now it's refreshing the data into that dataset. Note you can schedule a refresh of that data in the dataset using a scheduling tool, so you can always keep it up to date if need be. Right, that's successful. Let's start building our dashboard. So if we click on the data set, we can now see the same columns. First thing we're going to do is bring in country name to show you some filtering later on. As you can see, as it's got the data, it automatically starts to show the data in that pane. I'm just going to resize it. Next is going to be the main body, where we're going to show the map. So we could either bring in a country code or a country name. And then we're going to change the visualization to that of a map. If you scroll down you can see lots of options and we're going to click map from here so it's already done the regions as a country code now I'm bringing in message ID which will then turn into a count actual measure and we're happy with that so let's resize it right next we'd like to show the person running the report some counts what we're, the records we're looking at so if I pull in message ID it first shows the actual content but if we change that to summary it will change to a count so let's just expand that out now you can also take off this label here simply in the properties pane chance visualization you can turn off showing the label and lastly, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to bring in user agenda as well for some extra filtering. And again, we just resize that to make it fit nicely. So there's a report. The last thing you do will be to save the report. And as I mentioned earlier, that's a little tip. I tend to put a prefix on dashboard. Sony again. So there's a report done and just a quick demo of filtering on say country United Kingdom. You can see the count change and the view of the map change. If I click on it again it takes it off. Alternately I can then click on agenda and you can see zoom in and pick out all of the female the 601 and note the little icon appears at the top to show that it is filtered when I turn it off that filter appears and there we have a dashboard 
using a map plot version built in Cognos Analytics.